With blockbuster movies like Black Panther, Ant-Man and the Wasp, and Avengers Infinity War, we all want to be superheroes, right? But author and leadership expert Mac Browning says that there are actual superhero skills that every leader mud must actually avoid, uh, which I think is interesting. Matt, thanks so much for coming in. Hey, thanks for having me. I'm really excited to be here because leadership and superheroes are two of my favorite things. <laughs> <laughs> well, then it, we're, we've picked a great topic to talk about. So that, that question of should we or should we not kind of want to be like our superhero, what is kind of the basic answer? Well, I think what most people don't realize is that all those superheroes, they're great at saving the world all by themselves. Yeah. They make terrible leaders. <laughs> <laughs> they do think about it. I say there's five superhero mistakes that every leader must avoid. Okay. So number one is a Spider-Man snafu. Oh. Think about it. Spider-Man always hides behind a mask. Yes. Hiding behind the mask, being too mysterious. And, and so many superheroes think that they, they can't show themselves. They can't Ooh. be who they really are. So I say as a leader, take the mask off. You can hold that if you want. Absolutely. Take the mask off and show people who you really are. All right, so no masks. No masks. Okay. Number two is the Mr. Incredible mistake. Now, Mr. Incredible, we all love Incredibles, yes. I think, right? No matter what generation you are, everyone <laughs> loves Incredibles, especially baby Jack-Jack. Yes. Now, Mr. Incredible never trusted his team. Mm. One of his biggest character flaws is he thought he had to do it all alone. So, in fact, he actually kept the kids back at home. He told them to watch Baby Jack-Jack. Yep. Lucky for us, spoiler alert, if you haven't seen it, yeah. <laughs> the, the kids got out and they got Baby Jack-Jack with them and they ended up saving the day. So a lot of leaders think they can't trust their team and they want to keep them safe and they yeah. want to do it themselves. But we need to rely on Baby Jack-Jack. <laughs> Don't we? <laughs> That's adorable. <laughs> Who doesn't like Baby Jack Jack? But I think that makes complete sense. Yeah. Uh, so that's two mistakes. Yeah. No mask. Trust your team. What's number three? Number three is the Iron Man illusion. So Iron Man, his biggest strength was having the armor around him, right? Yeah. And I remember one scene in Iron Man 3, I believe it was, when he finally crashed down from the high skies. Yep. His suit stopped working, and he fell all the way down. And he's lying on the winter ground, and he takes his mask off and the suit is beat up and destroyed, Jarvis is out of commission, and you see the vulnerable human being that he really is. And as a leader, I think so often we think we need to keep this armor around so we can't let people know about our shortcomings, our character flaws. I always say never trust a leader without a limp. Ah. Right? You have to be able to, to show your people, this is some of my character flaws, and let's work together on it, rather than trying to you know, pretend like I'm a superhero, everything's yeah. perfect. So that's the Iron Man illusion. Interesting. I love that, you know what I mean? I, now I'm starting to correlate what you're talking about, the superheroes and what we can learn in our own lives. Uh, what about the next one? So number four is the hectic Hulk, as mm. I like to call it. Yeah. Now Hulk is being too emotional. So I brought my Hulk fist. My seven-year-old son, Valiant, at home loves these. <laughs> <laughs> and Hulk was always, remember Hulk? Yep. Like Hulk smash. Yeah. Hulk is so emotional. He always reacts to things before he can stop and think because that's his whole character. Yeah. So as a leader, we can't afford to react to things and start to, to act on them before we stop and think about them, right? Yep. So I would say don't take yourself so seriously. Don't like over emote about every silly little thing, every little mistake you make. Just relax a little bit, you know? Cool. <laughs> Throw some Hulk hands on. Yeah. That'll that'll lighten yeah, you up. Need one of yeah, these. I'm gonna take one of those for sure. So Nux. Don't yeah. uh, <laughs> don't overreact. Don't, don't overreact. Don't get too emotional. <laughs> exactly. Uh, so we have one more fifth one. What is our fifth yeah. thing? Well, number five would be the Superman screw up. Uh -huh. Superman always believed he had to carry the world on his shoulders. Yep. And I would say you're not Superman. So don't pretend you have to be and realize again, just like Mr. Incredible, Superman needs the help of people, yep. right? So you don't have to have the weight of the world on your shoulders. If you feel like you do, you're probably lying to yourself. Let it go and again, ask for some help and let a great team rally around you. Well, now that we know things to avoid, don't be like this person, this person, take those, those <laughs> traits, what should we be doing? Well, I say instead of being trying to be a superhero, yeah. just lead with fire, like my book says, the firebox yeah. principle. And fire is F, being flexible. So again, you don't have to have all the answers. Instead, flex to change with the environment as things change around you. I is inspire. Be, you know, bring a vision for your team so they can really rally around it and, and they know what to do with you, right? Bring the vision. R is reflect. Don't be Hulk. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of being Hulk and being emotional, stop and take some thinking time. It'll avoid a lot of stupid mistakes. Yeah. And E is, is empathy, right? So again, instead of being a superhero, instead try to be a human being. Yeah. <laughs> be a human and let people know that you actually care for them. 
I think these are all things we can implement starting right now. I think sometimes we just need that little reminder of, of what it, it's per perception is, what the good and the bad that you're doing uh, in your leadership roles. Uh, and I'm going to tell them you actually have, of course, the book you mentioned. I sure do. They can help <laughs> them. And you have a quiz that we can take online. Yeah, it's the Firebox quiz. The book is actually coming out in just a couple of days. Yeah. So it's pre-release right now. Uh, and if you go to fireboxbook.com, there's a Firebox quiz, and you can find out which of the seven top fire drives are driving your leadership style. So it's a really fun quiz. It's free to take yeah. um, and everyone can have fun with it. Well, we're going to get uh, online and get rocking and rolling with that. Matt, thank you so much for coming in. Thanks for having me. This was very interesting for everyone at home to get Matt's new book, The Firebox Principle, and to take the Firebox quiz for free. Log on, like we said, to fireboxbook.com.